Hello and welcome to the Investing Iguana, where we help you grow your money with smart and simple strategies. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to talk about the power of passive investing. But before we dive into the topic, let me ask you a question. Do you want to make money in the stock market without spending hours researching, analyzing, and trading stocks? Do you want to build a diversified portfolio that can withstand market ups and downs and generate consistent returns over the long term? Do you want to save money on fees, taxes, and expenses that can eat away at your profits? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you might be interested in passive investing. Passive investing is a way of investing that involves buying and holding a diversified portfolio of assets that track the performance of a market index, such as the S&P 500 or the MSCI world. The goal of passive investing is to match, not beat, the market returns over the long term. You may be wondering why anyone would want to settle for matching the market instead of trying to beat it. After all, isn't the whole point of investing to make more money than the average investor? Well, not exactly. As it turns out, passive investing has many advantages over active investing, which is the opposite approach that involves picking individual stocks or funds and trying to outperform the market. In this video, we're going to explore the benefits and drawbacks of passive investing and help you decide if it's right for you. We're also going to compare passive investing with active investing and show you how you can combine both strategies to optimize your portfolio. So stay tuned until the end of this video to learn everything you need to know about passive investing. But before we get into that, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. This will help us reach more people who are interested in learning about investing and personal finance. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for your support. Now let's get back to passive investing. What are some of the benefits of passive investing that make it an attractive option for many investors? Here are some of them, lower fees and expenses. One of the biggest advantages of passive investing is that it costs much less than active investing. Passive investing involves minimal trading and management, which means you pay less in commissions, taxes, and fund expenses. According to Investopedia, Passive funds can have expense ratios as low as 0.02%, while active funds can charge up to 1% or more. Over time, these savings can make a big difference in your returns. For example, if you invest $10,000 in a passive fund that charges 0.02% per year and earns 10% annually for 20 years, you will end up with $67,275. But if you invest the same amount in an active fund that charges 1% per year and earns the same return, you will end up with only $49,725. That's a difference of $17,550 or 26% less. Simplicity and convenience. Another benefit of passive investing is that it's very easy and convenient to do. Passive investing does not require you to research individual stocks, monitor market movements, or time your entries and exits. You just buy a fund that tracks an index and hold it for the long term. This saves you time and hassle and lets you focus on other things in life. You don't have to worry about picking the right stocks or funds or missing out on opportunities or trends. You just let the market do its thing and enjoy the ride. Diversification and risk reduction. A third benefit of passive investing is that it allows you to own a slice of the entire market or a specific sector, which reduces your exposure to individual company or industry risks. For example, if you buy an index fund that tracks the S&P 500, you own shares of 500 companies across various sectors and industries. This means that if one company or sector performs poorly, it won't affect your portfolio too much. You also benefit from the growth and innovation of all these companies over time. By contrast, if you buy individual stocks or funds, you may end up with a concentrated portfolio that is more vulnerable to market shocks or downturns. Consistent and reliable returns. A fourth benefit of passive investing is that it aims to capture the average returns of the market over time, which have historically been positive and outperformed inflation. 
Passive investing has delivered an annualized return of 9.8% for U.S. stocks and 5.5% for global bonds from 1970 to 2019. While passive investing does not guarantee positive returns every year, it reduces the chances of underperforming the market or losing money due to human errors or emotions. In fact, studies have shown that most active investors fail to beat the market over the long term due to factors such as fees, taxes, behavioral biases, and market inefficiencies. These are some of the main benefits of passive investing that make it a popular choice among many investors. However, passive investing is not without its drawbacks as well. Here are some of them, lack of flexibility and customization. One of the drawbacks of passive investing is that it limits your choices to the funds that track an index or a benchmark. You cannot adjust your portfolio according to your preferences, goals, or risk tolerance. You also cannot take advantage of market opportunities or trends that may arise from time to time. For example, if you want to invest in a specific industry or theme that is not well represented by an index fund, such as clean energy or biotechnology, you may have trouble finding a suitable fund or ETF that matches your criteria. Total Market Risk Another drawback of passive investing is that it exposes you to the fluctuations of the entire market or sector that you are tracking. If the market or sector goes down, so does your portfolio. You cannot hedge your bets or protect yourself from downside risk by using strategies like short selling or options. You also cannot benefit from market inefficiencies or mispricings that may create opportunities for active investors. Underperformance in certain scenarios, a third drawback of passive investing is that it may not perform well in certain market conditions or periods, such as when the market is highly volatile, inefficient, or dominated by a few stocks or sectors. For example, during the dot-com bubble in the late 1990s, passive investors who tracked the S&P 500 would have missed out on the stellar returns of technology stocks that were not part of the index. Similarly, during the financial crisis of 2008, passive investors who tracked the MSCI world would have suffered huge losses due to the collapse of global markets. These are some of the main drawbacks of passive investing that may make it less appealing for some investors. However, these drawbacks can be mitigated or overcome by using some strategies or techniques that we will discuss later. So how do you decide if passive investing is right for you? Well, it depends on your personal situation, goals, risk appetite, and investment style. Some questions you can ask yourself are, A. How much time and effort do you want to spend on investing? B. How much money do you have to invest and how long do you plan to invest for? C. How comfortable are you with market volatility and uncertainty? D. How confident are you in your ability to beat the market or find undervalued opportunities? E. How important is it for you to customize your portfolio according to your needs and preferences? If you are looking for a simple, low-cost, and hassle-free way of investing for the long term, passive investing may be a good option for you. However, if you want more control, flexibility, and potential upside from your investments, you may want to consider active investing or a combination of both. In summary, passive investing is a strategy that involves buying and holding a diversified portfolio of assets that track a market index. It has many benefits such as lower fees, simplicity, diversification, and consistent returns. However, it also has some drawbacks such as lack of flexibility, total market risk, and underperformance in certain scenarios. I hope this video helped you understand the power of passive investing and whether it suits your investment goals. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more investing tips and insights. Thank you for watching The Investing Iguana and I'll see you next time.